Coach just said he, he can't wait for Sunday because he feels you guys are for that close that kind of same mentality. Everybody Who said wants. this? Robert. Okay, Coach Sala. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, it's, it's all about winning football. And I think once we, we still, you know, we got a ways to go, but we're, we're heading in the right direction. And, and basically, you stop the run, you build the lead, and you let your guys hunt. And, that, and that's the formula. Uh, we haven't really was able to get to that point yet, but we will. And we just got to work towards it. Do you care about milestones? Is that something you think about at all? Cool. Do you care about your milestone coming up, 100 sacks? Is that something you think about? I'm just trying to not be 0-4, to be honest with you. You know, the truth, the truth told, you know, yeah, you want to get the 100 sack, but at the same time, you want to get a win too. You know, what's the point of a sack if you don't get the win? Um, so, you know, when you can do well individually and also get the win, that's, I mean, that's that's why you play the game. You see a quarterback like Carson, you were just talking about earlier. Really. He's, he's not as mobile as some of the guys you faced so far this year. And you got the guys in the front seven and look at that and say, you know, it's a real opportunity for us to maybe get some pressure. I mean, it's every week. I mean, every quarterback we play, you know, we, we, we got hits. So we, we got to them. It's just a matter of, like I said, it's situational. It's just playing complementary football where we all can complement each other on all phases and get to a point where you can hunt. And we just haven't got to that point yet, but that's what we're we striving for. Solomon Thomas uh, was working into the chest of offensive tackles a lot in the last game. Do you work with him on pass rushing technique and, and how to work the edges of blockers? He know how to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like I said, you know, he's doing what he needs to do. He has some good rushes. I'm sure some rushes, you know, you want to get better, myself included. You know, you don't you don't get sacked every play. But it's a it's a process when you get him. In a, it's an art. You know, you got to get more reps of getting in rhythm and once that happens and that's called you know building a lead and once that happens then then you can see what guys can really get done what do you mean by building a lead building the lead up up a possession or two okay what stood out to you about the forest so far through three games he's been dominant man i think he's been having a really quite a really quite a good season um he's been disruptive he's playing a run he's playing a pass he's getting double He's playing real rugged, you know. Um, he's doing a lot of good things, um, and, and his stats hasn't shown yet. But you know, when you put on the film, it jumps out of, of his, his, his impact. He, he talked about, you know, telling the guys in the meeting room that he wants you guys need to have sacks every week. And is, do you notice for a second-year player that his leadership skills, with him being vocal, is, is a little unique? Listen, I've been I played this game for a while. Sacks come in bunches. It's not, it's not nothing to be stressing about. Like I said, it, it all goes back to playing situational football. When you play good situation, situational football, the sacks are coming in bunches, without a doubt. But with, with sacks coming in bunches, was that penalty especially frustrating when they, they erased your sack on? It, it happened to me before, so I'm over that. You know, um, it, you know, of course, you want the stat, and you, you, know, you want to make a big play to energize the crowd. But, you know, I'm sure my guy was playing really tough and he was playing his technique and sometimes, you know, things happen. He was playing aggressive and on to the next play.